Shinju residents take note. A driverless car has arrived in the neighborhood. The Industrial Research Technology Institute and the Shinju City government have teamed up to test a driverless car at Nanliao Fishing Harbor. This driverless car is the first in Taiwan to be granted a license for testing on public roads, as opposed to a closed course. Over the next year, the car will have to dodge people, cars and scooters in an uncontrolled environment. He doesn't lift a finger, but the steering wheel turns on its own as the car pulls forward. We're inside Taiwan's first licensed self-driving car as it embarks on its first day of open road testing. For instance, up ahead there is a parked car jutting out onto the road. The self-driving car will instantly reroute its path. In real traffic, the driverless car can react to all sorts of situations, for instance, by dodging a hazard or adjusting its path. In every country around the world, certification is done on open roads. Open roads entail higher risks. We have adopted a more conservative approach. But open road certification is extremely important because it's the only place where you get real traffic from cars, pedestrians, and very critically, lots of scooters. That's something you don't see often in Western countries. Itri is working with the Xinzhu city government to test the driverless car at Nanliao Fishing Harbor. Unlike its predecessors, this automated car is the first to be licensed for open road test driving. We all know that with the era of 5G fast approaching, the development of self-driving cars will have a huge impact on the future of Taiwan's industry. The driverless car will go through a year of testing at the fishing harbor, where it will have to navigate a mix of vehicles and people. If the car proves itself roadworthy, it would open up new possibilities for Taiwan's semiconductor industry.